Thank you, sir. Okay, I was gonna say this till later in the video, but uh, I've never driven anything bigger than the 900 that one time. This is 1700. 1700 of them, so let's see what happens. All right, it feels like a motorcycle. That's a good feeling. Brakes are really strong in the back. Not intimidated yet. Turning's a little wonker. Hi. Oh, I missed the camera flash. Oh yeah. I'm not scared. I'm not. Okay, that feels fun. <laughs> this is fun. Uh, in case you guys don't know, I don't know a lot about bikes. I only drive them. Oh, that is so easy. You literally just turn the thing and it goes. I thought this would be harder than a sport bike, but I'm not praising myself. I'm just happy that it's not so difficult. Although I can't see in this mirror. There we go. I feel a little more safer. I'm still amazed that the 1700 is not scary. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> I'm like, I want to go on a long road trip right now. <laughs> I'm really glad I got to come out here. I made it just before work. Whoa, where's the shifter? There you are. So the thing about all these motorcycles today, apparently, is that they are all the same size. They're all 1700. This thing is so easy to drive and it's comfortable, shifts really well. If I was gonna go on a road trip, I'd love to take one of these. Oh, that'd be fun. So I picked this bike for two reasons, was the way it looked and uh, the apparent size. But along with the way it looked, I liked that the handlebars weren't ridiculously high. I think that's silly and that doesn't interest me. I don't want handlebars that are as high as my face. So while these are higher than a sport bike relative to the seat, it's very comfortable. To be perfectly honest though, looking at the handlebars, they look crooked. I don't know if you can see this, but it looks like the left handlebar is forward too much. Like the whole assembly above the tire is actually crooked. But whatever, I'm not gonna complain about a lot of things. It's really windy. Uh, the weather is amazing. So that just adds to the experience. Oh, it just occurred to me. Maybe it's not so windy. Maybe it's just this bike because normally, I, you know, on a, my sport bike, I'm tucked. I'm leaning back and taking all the wind. We're not going really fast though. We're going like 40 miles an hour. I think the route up ahead, according to what I heard, it's the highway at some point, in which case we will go more faster. Oh boy, a turn. Thank goodness it's super easy to drive. Alrighty then, we are going to hit the highway. Let us go and hit that. <laughs> yeah. Super windy, but comfortable. Very comfortable. Not intimidating at all, actually. This makes me want to go on a road trip right now. I mean, the main difference, aside from how I feel as far as comfort and sitting, is the wind, actually. I'm just, it's slamming into me really hard. Oh, come on, man. Don't be a pushover for this car. You're on a motorcycle. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> That's my first time overtaking a car on one of these things. This is my first time on one of these things, really. Yep, I spent some time thinking about it, and this is, in fact, my first time on a cruiser. I mean, I've driven on a, a regular upright 250, but, I mean, something this big with a, a non-sport bike kind of style, this is my first time. I'm enjoying it, though. I, I'll be completely honest, I was intimidated. I thought, it's 1700, I'm going to get on and immediately go, oh, I can't handle it, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because it's two-stroke, it's my guess. But it is not intimidating. It is fun. I'm enjoying myself a lot. Whee! It's like a roller coaster because you just lean back. I mean, if you want to, you don't have to. I like to, actually. That's what I'm finding. You lean back and you just kind of pull back on the bars and imagine that it's going so fast that it's just getting away from you and you're like, ah! It's fun. It's really fun. What's up, biker man? You see, I don't like uh, motorcycles with huge windscreens and have all those plastics on it like the one in front of me does. It has this, this huge back trunk compartment and those side things. I mean, I guess they're practical if you live on the road and you gotta travel a lot, that's fine but I'm all about the way it looks. I chose this one because of the way it looks. I still think it looks great. It's blacked out. It's not obnoxiously large or a whole lot like a cruiser. It doesn't have a big windscreen on it. Sure, I'm probably fighting the wind a lot more than these other guys are, but I, I like this bike quite a bit. Unfortunately, I don't consider myself of any authority to puppy gauge whether or not this is a good bike and tell you all about it. I would try to pet this puppy, but uh, it's not my bike and I'm not gonna risk crashing someone else's bike because I'm driving theirs. Sweet, I don't see anyone else here. Maybe they'll just let us go for another ride. Oh, please don't let me do anything stupid on my way in here. Please don't let me. Whoa. Suspension feels good. It's, it's springy, not quite like a cloud, like on a supermoto, but it's springy. And that's my favorite kind of suspension. Well, I'll take it back. The cloud is my favorite suspension, but that was good. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Drove a 1700. Didn't flinch. I don't think I'm of any qualification to rate a bike, but I'll give it a shot. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say that riding the Hammer 8 ball was good. I'm not a cruiser person myself, but I thoroughly enjoyed my first time ever experience on one of these things. So, that. I had a blast. Walter, I'm back.